So I'm working on this drawing of, I think it's a crane. I took a picture of a crane, I believe, at the uh, Gilbert Riparian Reserve. And I'm doing it on these little linen panels. Super cute. It's very smooth, like surprisingly so. So I was trying to draw on there with pencil and it really wasn't showing up on this background and then it really wasn't sticking either. So I ended up using um, my white charcoal pencil and I'm only drawing in the crane. Everything else I'm just gonna kind of freehand, but I knew if I didn't block out at least the basic outline of this that it probably wasn't gonna be in the right spot. It probably wasn't going to have the right proportions because it's so small. And the way I'm gonna do this is very unforgiving. I'm going to treat it like it's toned paper. So I'm going to leave some of this uncovered and therefore I don't really have a lot of freedom to make stray marks. So I've basically done everything easy. <laughs> uh, now I'm on to the crane itself, which it's mostly white. And I think I'm gonna stick to having the shadows on the crane probably be that linen background, we'll see. Okay, I finished it. So I was so mad because I thought uh, I had turned my camera on when I was painting the rest of the bird and then apparently it was just off that whole time. <laughs> so I got that leaf there at the end for you, but um, yeah, that was pretty irritating. 
But uh, this is what I was really hoping for, that this linen background would create kind of an interesting, cool effect when it's shown through. And I, I think it did. You can kind of see there's a couple spots with the bird where I kind of let it peek through just a little bit too. And I think it kind of creates an interesting effect. Now I'll be putting an isolation coat and some varnish on it and then it's gonna be ready to go.